now, a Florida man with a vision of tomorrow, today. Your laptops are getting better, faster, but your government systems are the same. Your education is the same. Forget everything you thought about the future as the night team explores the Venus Project. So you think you know what the future will look like? Few people do, but once that Florida man, a very brilliant man, does because he's designing it. A place where there will be no food shortages, no fear of hurricanes, and no war. It's called the Venus Project. And the night team's Patrick Frazier went there. Driving down a quiet road near Lake Okeechobee, you see cows on one side, orange groves on the other, and a sugar mill in the distance. Then you arrive at a gate in Venus, Florida, to possibly get a look at the future of the world. Now this used to be a flat tomato field right here. There are 10 concrete and steel dome structures built by Jacques Fresco. I'm talking about a better way of life. But it's his vision coming from inside the buildings, called the Venus Project, that is attracting attention. Science and technology could be used for human betterment. Jacques and his companion Roxanne Meadows are using drawings. He does five or six of these every day. And designs. We've assembled buildings like this in dry dock. To show Jacques' dream of the future. One world designed to lift all people to their highest potential. In Jacques' vision, towns will be circular, powered by solar radiation with self-contained cities in the skyscrapers or in the ocean. It is actually less expensive in the long run to build newer cities from the ground up than to restore and maintain old ones. Who will do all the work to build it? No one. The Venus Project will be entirely automated. Factories, farms, everything. If you unleash science and technology to create a high standard of living for everyone and automate boring jobs, it's very easy to automate jobs. Sounds impossible. This is nickel and titanium. Then Jacques took a piece of metal with a memory, twisted it out of its shape, hit it with a dryer for a few seconds, and restored it to its original state. In the future, he says, buildings will be automatically created in a factory that way. They will deliver a box that's, say, 10 feet by 10 feet. Then the box, the pointy roof, the windows. Then the furniture comes up. Everything is memorized. When you talk to Jacques about the Venus Project, you hear two phrases quite a bit. The first, I have no credentials. He says that because he dropped out of school at 14. The second, all our problems are caused by BS, bad science. The way we think and the way we run our country is old and inefficient. Technology is racing forward, but not the mental state. Jacques has been inventing and designing since he was a teenager. He drew this rounded car when all cars were shaped like boxes. You designed this 65 years yeah, ago. Why yeah. did it take this long for cars to start Because I can't with? get to anybody. I have no credentials. That might be why he can't get everyone to listen, or it might be his blunt, outspoken style. We're so self-centered, so stupid. The environmentalists don't want to cut down the forest, but they live in wooden houses. But to do it Jacques' way, there would be no communism, no capitalism, everyone living together in one world, sharing everything. It's idealistic. No, it's not. It's practical. It's not? It's impractical to run society the way we do it today. What? We don't have much longer. We're depleting the environment. We're killing each other. You may not have heard of Jacques Fresco, but he is known around the world. Documentaries have been done about him. Magazine writers from Europe have written stories about him. Turkey wants me to come back and design a museum of the future, a new city. Many countries want to hear from Jacques, except one country. The United States. Everywhere they want to hear about this system. Not in America. Not yet. Maybe because it seems idealistic, or maybe it's hard to look ahead when the present is so bleak. Somehow they feel I'm rocking the boat. I'm not. The boat is being rocked by economic conditions. The Venus Project. With this type of construction, there'd be little or no damage from floods, earthquakes, or hurricanes. Folly or the future? Let's hope we live long enough to find out. In Venus, Florida, I'm Patrick Frazier, 7 News. Well, if you'd like to learn more about the Venus Project and get in touch with Jacques, just go to our website at WSVN.com and look for Patrick's story.